Welcome to the introduction to Data Effects and Content Studio. This video demonstrates how to add a data effect to a real-time data field in Content Studio. Follow along on screen or with your own Dactronics equipment during the tutorial. To open Content Studio, click on the pencil icon in the top right-hand corner of Display Studio. Open an existing presentation or create a new one using the menu options in the top left. Once you have a presentation open or created, ensure your timeline is set to the length of the game. In this case, we have it set to 5 hours. To set the time on your timeline, right-click on Layout and go to Properties. There you can choose the drop-down for minutes, hours, or days, and to the left, type in the number you want. Select a real-time data element that already exists in your presentation or drag and drop a new RTD field from the dynamic data library. When you have an RTD item selected, you will see a field properties tab in the menu across the top of the screen. In this menu, you will see a drop-down of the available data field effects. Fade will simply fade between the changing data. Flip or scroll allows you to select the direction the data is transitioning. Pulsate will shake the item to bring attention to it. Blink will show and hide the visibility of an item. Highlight allows you to select the color of the changing data. With each effect, you can set the duration for the amount of time it will take to transition. You can also set the delay, which will delay the transition from occurring for the indicated amount of time. You can only add one data effect per data field. Once you have the transitions added to each individual field, save and play out your presentation. Use the AllSport, DAXStats, or other data interface that you choose your RTDs to pull from to change the data and see the effect on your display. This concludes the tutorial for adding data effects to your RTD content. Continue to other videos to learn more about your Dactronics control system.